In today's video, we're going to be using Adobe Illustrator to create ourselves this simple block of cheese. Okay, so to get started, we're going to go up to the File menu, select New, choose the Web Templates, and use the 1280 by 1024 document size, and you can click Create. First thing you want to do is put a background color in. So I want you to go and grab your rectangle tool from your toolbox over here. Turn the stroke off, so hit the box with the red line going through it. That'll make sure there's no border on our rectangle. And the fill color you want, I'm just going to click on the color palette here and type in a code. I'm looking for a, like a pinky purple color, so DF87FF is the code I'm looking for. I'm just going to click in the top left and drag down to the bottom right and drop that rectangle on my page. I'll then go to Layers, Expand Layer 1. Click on the rectangle layer and just lock it into position by hitting that empty space next to the eye. Um, on top of this background now, we can start drawing our cheese. The first thing we want to do is change our rectangle tool by holding our mouse down on it. And I want you to select the polygon, whoop, the polygon tool. So there's the polygon tool hiding beneath the rectangle tool. Back in your properties panel, I want you to change the fill color as well to a, a yellow. So we're going to go with a code of FFE. 688 okay and all I want you to do is click once on your background that will bring up a box saying what size do you want this polygon to be doesn't matter what the radius is you can type anything in there but it does matter how many sides this polygon has obviously it needs to be three so we've got ourselves a triangle so type in three press OK and you get the top of your cheese using your selection tool the black arrow give it a rotate so just hover off one of the corners Rotate it so you've got the point pointing out towards the left. Once you've done that, I want you to stretch it out. Let's move it back down towards the center. You can make it a bit fatter there if you want. You need it looking something like that for now. I'm using the direct selection tool now, which is your white arrow. I want you to just highlight this top point. I'm going to zoom in a little bit here so you can see what happens. What I'm going to do is I'm going to now click on this anchor point, which is that little blue square at the top there. When you click on it, let go of the mouse and then now click and drag that point. And you can actually resize it. Now this is going to be the top of the cheese, even though it doesn't really look at it at the minute. Okay, something like that is probably going to look good. So look at the angle that that line is on running along there and make sure yours is something similar. What we're going to do now is just draw a rectangle, which will be the front of the cheese. I'll zoom back a bit here so we can see it. To do that, we're going to have to go back to our toolbox and change from the polygon back to the rectangle tool. Make sure you're clicked off everything, so you don't want to have this top bit selected. And we can go over and change our fill color. We're going to choose a slightly darker yellow, which is going to be FFD76A. Press Enter. And to start this rectangle, it needs to start right on this point here on the left of the triangle. So hover your mouse over the end of that triangle and you'll see the word anchor appear, which shows you right on the tip on the anchor point. Click and drag out to the right and draw the front of the cheese. Okay, it'll probably be about a similar width as the far right point on the triangle and just drop it into position when you're done. It'll look something like that. Using your white arrow tool now, I want you to come over here to this um, top right anchor point and just click on it. Okay, and if we move that, actually no, we won't move it, we'll move both these end anchor points. So just click and drag over both of those anchor points on the end, so we move both of them in one go. And now you can grab this top anchor point and just pull it up. So it's almost snapped onto the end of that triangle. Okay, you can try and get it on there, we probably won't quite get it. You can obviously see the shape of the cheese now coming together. Now just zoom in on that anchor point where you just drop that cheese, okay, and make sure that it is attached. If it's not, what you can do, I'll just detach mine for a second. If you've got a little bit of a pink gap through there, just click on this anchor point at the top yellow triangle and drag it down using your white arrow so it snaps onto the end of that rectangle. Okay, that way our ends meet and we have a good looking block of cheese like so. Next thing I'm going to do is just take some holes out of the cheese. So to do that, you just need your ellipse tool. Making sure you're not clicked on anything, just change that fill color to anything other than yellow. So I'll grab red. 
And we're going to draw three circles cutting into the cheese. So I'm going to hold shift when I do this. I'm going to draw one up the front, like so. One up the top. And I'll draw a little one up the back here. All right, you can nudge them around a little bit, but you only want about half of the circle at the most cutting into the cheese or overlapping the cheese to start with. Next thing we're going to do, we're going to select everything on our page. So either click and drag over the top of everything or just press Control A to select all. Then go and grab your Shape Builder tool from your toolbox. Hold down the Alt key on your keyboard and just click and drag over each of those circles. And that's just going to make them disappear and take out a chunk of the cheese with it. So you've got those little nibbles out of the cheese, like you'd expect from a cartoon block of cheese. The last thing I'm going to do now is just add some darker circles um, over the top of the cheese here. don't know why we do it. It does look better when we add them in. probably adds a bit of a texture, I suppose, to the block of cheese. So go and grab your ellipse tool again. Make sure you're not clicked on anything and you can change your fill color. I'm going to go to the color palette here. Sorry, the color mixer. And I'm going to choose a brownish orange kind of color. So D38548 is the code I'm looking for. When I draw these on, I want to change the opacity as well to about 60%. So they're going to be somewhat see-through. And I just want you to go and draw a few of these while holding shift on your keyboard. And draw a few on your block of cheese. Maybe three down below. Probably squeeze in two up the top. Now these two on the top. They don't actually look like they belong there at the moment. So what we're going to do is just grab our selection tool, the black arrow, and just resize the bottom of them up a bit to make them more of an oval, if anything. It'll make it look like they should belong on this top section of the cheese then. Alrighty. So you can move them around until you're happy with how they look. Okay, probably something like that will probably do. If you want, you could probably add another little one up there, but I'm not too fussed. Actually, I am, so I'll just do it. Just have a little one up the top just to fill in that gap. And there we have it. We have a block of cheese pretty much using the flat design technique. If you want, you can highlight it all, right click and group it together, and then you can save it up.